he goes. Making uh, light work of the first couple, though he's fairly deliberate. I'm guessing he's got a plan here to uh, take his time and just get them all over. And if he does, uh, goes number five, number six now. Goes up another couple of kilos to the big black one. Cheered on by Anas Arsho. Pick it up, do it again. Time still ticks on, though, I'm afraid. 15 seconds to go. Will he bring the house down? Oh, his fatigue taking him down. He's desperately short there. I don't think he'll do it. So, for his mark, six kegs, 28.42 seconds. That's our leader at the moment. So keg height down on doing the last one there, I'm afraid. It's a horrible thing having to go heavier and heavier with each keg as you get more and more fatigued. It's almost uh, counterintuitive, if you like. Now, Hannes Arsho. He's asked the referee to speak extra loud this year because, of course, last year had uh, difficulties hearing the ref and the keg didn't go over and he wasn't quite watching. He was trying to do two kegs at the same time. Anyway, right now, Arsho has uh, equaled but bettered Fursmark on time. This is tremendous. Oh! 21.76. He's done all seven. Well done, Arsho. So explosive. Gets his whole body into it. Comes off the floor three or four inches as he explodes. Johannes, congratulations. I think that was a little shout of relief there. It was. It's always good to get the last keg over. So, of course, I'm very satisfied with this. Could this be the turning point for this year? Can you still win? Yeah, I'm here to win. There's, there's nothing else. Well, that's, that's all we need to know. Good luck. All right. Johannes Ola! Of course he's here to win. He's the local boy. This is uh, his manner. Big tell over from uh, London, England. Hit and miss on this is how I describe Terry Hollands. He was uh, once unbeatable at this. When he first came out, I remember him doing uh, the final kegs with one hand, posing away, but uh, he doesn't quite know either. But somewhere along the line, he just lost his zip. Now, has he found his mojo? There's number six, but he can't get it over. Golden 22. Around about uh, 49 pounds, just under 50 pounds. Now, this about 56 pounds, just under. Here we go, 25 kilos. Oh no, he hit the tyre. He still has just over 10 seconds to go, though. Come on, Terry. Oh, can't quite do it, I'm afraid. Five seconds to go. This is probably fruitless, but uh, he's frustrated he didn't get it over. Six kegs in 38 seconds. And, uh, well, it wasn't the quickest run on six. He perhaps chose to go a little slower there to try and get the last one over. Now, Mark Felix. Now, talk about hot and cold. He's more cold than hot in this kind of event. He's got wild lower back power, as you can see. Well, in the first few have gone over fairly comfortably. Perhaps he's found a rhythm in training. He's very back dominant, though. Doesn't uh, jump up with his legs. So some of the better athletes, they tend to explode up into the air rather than just using the back muscle, which uh, makes it, uh, it does make it very rotational rather than an upward thrust. That can give you difficulties actually just finding the sweet spot and getting it over. 43, 44 seconds on the clock. And he's probably got another good hit of this, but uh, that comes up a foot and a half short. So I might think to uh, just give up, but then again, he wouldn't be a strong man <laughs> if he... If he thought rationally, full kegs in 1565. Well done, Mark. Oh, 
but not quite as good as his previous two rounds where he won gold medals in both the farmer's walk and the deadlift. Somewhere uh, down below middle of the pack here in Kegtos. Here are the results. Yanis Arsho, 7 in 21 seconds. The only man to finish, Forsmark, Hollands, Pake and Eric all completing it. And actually Hollands uh, was on the better end. Forsmark on top of uh, the men who did 6th.